what you're going to learn today is how to survive those critical two seconds if somebody puts a knife to your throat, a gun in your chest, or somebody tries to punch you. First thing you need to do is remember to always get off the X. Get out of the way of the gun, the knife, whatever it is. So I'm pulling while the blade is pressing, causing them to release it. Bring your hand up, bring that elbow out. I'm yanking down hard and I'm snapping his elbow right there. Boom. Stacking them in front of each other. You're not gonna become a victim and you'll end up saving your life or the life of a loved one one day. All right, we're gonna show you how to get out of many safety, uh, excuse me, dangerous situations. Gotcha. Um, that includes what happens if you're duct taped to a chair during a home invasion. But just in case that goes horribly wrong and you beat me up too bad, I'm gonna show you other stuff first. Okay, let's start with so that. So we'll head over to this table where you see we've got flashlights and coconuts. Well, who doesn't have flashlights? That's right, exactly. And Co coconuts around the living room. I'm sure you could show us what to do with these food-wise because <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. But in the martial arts world, the coconut is often used to simulate a skull because it's incredibly hard. Wow. So flashlights, a lot of people carry them, obviously, to see in the dark. Right. But they make an awesome self-defense tool. So I train a lot of nurses. They're leaving the hospitals late at night. Right, exactly. Out in the parking lot. Right. Sure. Criminals yeah. can grab them from behind. They can do all kinds of it's stuff. It's a very high-risk profession. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And criminals know this. They know nurses are leaving at 3 a.m. That's right. So they wait there. Well, besides just having a flashlight to see in the dark, I want to show you what a whack to the skull can do with a flashlight. Awesome. Which can do a lot of damage. So this is why the coconuts are here. This is what is called the coconut test. Okay. To resemble the human skull. So here, if you want to take a whack, and then I'll take a whack. And what you want to do, just so we don't kill anybody in the audience. Do I use this one? Well, you can use this one okay. too. We'll, but we can both use this one. And you got to hit it real hard. So whack it this way. That way we're sending the coconut hopefully flying in that direction and not towards anybody there. Oh, you want me to not yeah, knock it, like it off? Yeah, like it's a... This remember, is like T-ball. That's what I was just going to say. Okay. T-ball like growing up. A whack like that. Oh, come on. Oh, Shut <laughs> up! Let me go this way. All right. Now I will turn this car around. <laughs> I want to hire T. <laughs> there. All right, that's a good hit. All right. Let me see if we can crack this open. Wow, you can do that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Now. This. Yeah, I did. This is the damage that a flashlight can do. So don't get hit by Rachel, but if a criminal's trying to kidnap you, this is why you'd want to whack them. I am so taking this home. So I'm going to stand over here. Now that we've got coconut juice all over us. Jesus, like, drop the mic, Rachel, drop the mic! Right. Put it down. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now what? All right, choking. So you're gonna love this even more, because now you get to choke me and still oh, bash a coconut. Okay. So let's go back to walking out of the parking lot late okay. at night. Criminals love to choke women. They pass out, they drag them into the van, they drag them into the woods. Right. So most people, when they're choked, and I'm not gonna choke you hard, when they're choked, you know, their tendency is to back up or they freeze. They don't know how to get out. I'm going to show you a very simple move. So go ahead and choke me. You can, I'm going to say you can do it hard. You're already doing hard. All I've got to do is pinch down oh, like that. Oh, wow. So, let, let me say it when I'm not choking to death. Oh, well, hold on. So Before you, you pinch down Right, all you do is spin. pinch down and spin the opposite way from where the wow. hands are. So I'll do it to you lightly. That way you can actually talk and you're not dying immediately. There you go. Like That's that. all it is. That's it's just awesome. pinch in the head and a quick spin. Pound it so, out. Yes. Loving it. Very, very simple. Can we duct take you now? Yes, we can, as I doubt my breath back. So we'll go over to the chair. Um, home invasions. There are many Hollywood cliches which are not true, but being duct taped to a chair is one of them. And you have clearly Whoops. done this before. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, exactly we like just they call do this in the movies. Thursday at my house. So, <laughs> so go around the chair, make sure, make sure I'm on the chair too. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. I want to be duct taped to the chair. So, what criminals will do, goodness gracious. <laughs> Is, is that, all right, that's, that's enough, that's enough. All right. This so, is so much fun. I think that's funny. I'm never getting out. I'm, I'm clearly stuck. All right, so okay. most people are gonna try and scoot forward. They're right. gonna freeze, because criminals, when they duct tape you to the chair, what they do is they go upstairs, they go through your sock drawer, steal all their jewelry, right, right, like right. the house. So you want to be able to get out, run out your front door while they're upstairs. While they're you call hopefully in another room. Right? Yes. So what you do, and you've duct taped me clearly very good. So Jason said this could take a while, guys. So hopefully not. You know, hopefully, hopefully you got not. a snack over the break. Put your feet up. We're good. 
So <laughs> the way you do it is you want to do a very quick bolt or quick jolt putting your head between your legs. Okay. The way I like to think about it, if you've ever been on an airplane and thought you were going to throw up, you put your head between your legs and puke in that bag. That is... That's a nice memory. That's, that's, it. that's the easiest way to remember it. Okay. So, because sometimes it takes two times, three times, we shall see here. You want me to hold the back of this to I, give you a little you, brace? You can, don't matter. Okay. You don't need to. Okay, so All here right. we go. So I lean back, just like this, quick jolt. Oh! And then, and then I can pull this out, try it right away. So. Uh, have some duct tape. Ten minutes, my butt. That was legit.